Well, we have a happy ending to a story you saw right here on Channel 2 First at 5 about the van stolen from this local family with a disabled son. Now, that family got quite the surprise from a beloved former Buffalo Sabre. But that is not it. We just found out a couple of hours ago that the van has now been found. Here's two on your sides, Kelly Dudzik. That's this our this, guy. Just in case you were wondering what the center of the universe looked like, here it is in person. Here. 37-year-old Eddie Cast lives with his mom and dad in Lovejoy. Eddie is legally blind and nonverbal. His dad's harmonica music is therapeutic for him. I always say I'm, I'm his uh, chauffeur, wrestler, bath guy, music guy. Sunday night, while Eddie's dad was picking up food in Chictawaga, someone stole the family's van. It's just amazing, uh, you know, how people can be touched by a relatively simple story of a bonehead that left his key in the ignition. With Eddie's specialized stroller and three of his dad's best harmonicas inside. Goals. Monday, word spread on social media. Eddie Former Sabre Pat thing. Coletta saw a tweet by my colleague Claudine Ewing and decided his foundation oh. needed to help. Here you go, sir. My pleasure. I'm speechless. <laughs> you know, we're, we're Buffalo. That's who we are. I know uh, we don't always uh, get the highest praises around, whether it be sports teams or or any of that sort, but uh, you know, when people uh, figure out what Buffalo is all about, this is exactly what it is. Uh, when someone needs your help in your community, then you step up and you do it. Eddie's dad says he'll likely use Thank the money to replace much. the stroller or repair it There's if it's broken. Bed. Maybe this is a little bit of uh, the Lord's uh, looking out for us uh, in an hour of need. And uh, I, I always say I'm glad that I was born and raised in this city because it is the city of good neighbors. And uh, this has been more in evidence uh, the last few hours than we ever imagined we'd witness. Now the cast family will pick the van up from the impound lot tomorrow. They don't know the condition of the van yet or what still might be inside it. Kelly Dudzik, Channel 2 News.